Before getting started, this video is in partnership with PayPal. Here's what I'll be covering in this video. What is a PayPal Sandbox account? What I like about the new Sandbox updates and how to create it. As you're all familiar, Sandboxes are vital to verify transactions and make sure your website payment processing is working as expected. PayPal has made major improvements to the Sandbox environment. We are all guilty of it, but don't be like me and live dangerously by not testing payments properly and pushing to production to do your tests. Again, testing is key to avoiding unnecessary development cycles and complaints from clients. So I wanted to make this video to share some updates to the PayPal developer dashboard and specifically their new sandbox testing. If you're familiar with the old interface, you should notice some big improvements. Look, I'll be honest and say the biggest frustration for me in the past was the lack of documentation. It was confusing and not up to date. This has now been updated, so it's much easier to understand. It might not seem like much, but I've had at least two occasions where I had an integration issue and couldn't get hold of support in time, which delayed the projects. So all this means we don't have to waste more time and the experience seems much better. Now let me walk you through how to create a PayPal Sandbox account step by step. First step, make sure you have a PayPal developer account. To do that, log into your existing business PayPal account and click on the developer link in the navbar. Or you can create a new account by going to developer.paypal.com. Once we are in the PayPal developer dashboard, let's toggle sandbox mode on. Next, we navigate to testing tools, then sandbox accounts. Now we land on the sandbox dashboard with two existing sandbox accounts we can use, one for business and one for personal. If you'd like to create a sandbox account from scratch, click create account. If you want to create a more customized account, click this create link. And we can now add a custom email, password, and other configurations. But for most sandbox accounts, the first option will do fine. So heading back to the first step, we select the account type and country, then create account. Now let's click on the account we just created. And there we have our sandbox account details. On this page, we'll have our login information, the sandbox API credentials for this sandbox account, general account information, and settings. Now that we have the sandbox accounts, let's see how we can test them. To do that, we head to sandbox.paypal.com. Then we use our sandbox account information to log in. And there we have our testing playground to confirm transactions and make sure everything is working as expected. To view transaction receipts and emails sent by PayPal to the sandbox email, just click the ellipsis and view notifications. That's it in this video. If you are looking for more PayPal developer resources, check out the link in my caption.